Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another uh, You versus Them read. Let's see Taurus, how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And uh, Taurus, uh, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, so, hmm. Okay, so Taurus newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, uh, Taurus, you know which side you'll resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, the chariot in reverse. So there is a, a blockage here, Taurus, or maybe somebody's scared to come forward, or there's distance between the two of you. I somewhere feel that uh, I somewhere feel that somebody feels judged, or they feel uh, they may not get a second chance because of some unwise, foolish choices that were made. Um, they are feeling rather embarrassed and ashamed, and want to come out of this stress. Um, the other person is like. Yeah, I've made my decision. I've made my decision. I'm into self-love nowadays. I did love them, but they turned out to be really egoistic or very stubborn and I'm not waiting around for them anymore. So let's see what's going to happen after that, Taurus. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course. But first, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify the rest. So, Taurus and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Taurus and that person. Taurus and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Alright, let's take a few more Taurus. Uh, just give me a second, my phone, I forgot to switch it off. I am sorry, Taurus, but I'm glad I took the call. It, it was rather urgent. So, okay, now, now let's take a few more from the second deck. Taurus and their person spirit. Taurus and their person, thank you. And just a few more Taurus from a third deck as well. Taurus and their person. Taurus and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now. What would that be? Alright, good to go Taurus. Let's start the reading. And uh, Taurus, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card says, I want to prove my love to you through actions. Nothing else matters but you. I can feel your desire for me. I want to make love to you. I want to marry you one day. I'm considering moving on with a soulmate, but I really didn't want to have to. I keep reading our old text messages. Telling you that I need you will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. I wasn't ready for our connection. They keep saying you're coming back, but you're not here yet. Are you coming back? I'm working through issues with my family. I really need your warmth and affection. I'm afraid of commitment. I want to hold you and never let go. I have commitment issues. Well, they do want to marry, but one day. And now they've realized that was the biggest mistake they made. Maybe somebody was having commitment issues or they were scared of committing. But now they've realized that what have I done? What have I done? That was the most unwise, foolish choice of my life. Because now they do see the other person as perfect. Somebody who they want in their life forever and ever after. All right. So, well... Let's start clarifying these cards for you, Taurus, but let's also first take a, an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels are going to bless my Taurus gang with today. 
as a blessing, guidance, advice or just a message and Taurus the, the card you get is activist which means maybe it's time to take action or it's just a nudge from the universe that expect action to be coming towards you very soon all right so spirit even if i mean right now the chariot is in reverse that doesn't mean it's going to be in reverse forever maybe there is some movement about to begin so spirit tell me what's happening in the reading Newcomers, please don't get confused, okay? These are two soul energies in front of me. This is not gender-based. I don't know which side you're on or who, the, who your person is. Could be your love interest, could be your spouse, could be your best friend, could be your parent-child dynamic, could be, well, anyone who's strongly in your energy right now, you know, maybe a sibling or something. So, by now, with the dialogue message cards, I'm sure you've picked up already who this person is for you. If this is your reading, you'll also now figure out which side you're on. So let's begin. Let's begin with person A. Person A, why the judgment in reverse? Why is the judgment in reverse for you? Okay, so person A feels that their person is very angry with them. Very angry, very upset, maybe blocked them now and um, has strong boundaries up. They're feeling judged. The feeling judged, not sure whether their person is going to give them a second chance or not. So, uh, hermit in reverse. This person does uh, want to come out of their hermit mode. They know that uh, they maybe in the past took their person for granted. Maybe now they are feeling that their person has withdrawn that love now or doesn't love them anymore because of some unwise foolish choices of theirs. But now they do want to rush back in. They do want to come rushing back in. They want to offer commitment. They want to fight for this connection because somewhere they sense that you know that person has given up on them and uh, now also recognizing that hey i don't want to have a missed opportunity i don't want to grow old and you know realize that i had an opportunity with a wonderful person and i missed it so um, yeah because i guess the silence between the two of you right now so they're kind of assuming that they're losing out on the love this person is uh, obsessed and scared and is wondering what to do they're feeling that void in their heart now now that they've lost their person right so they could have been they could be trying through gossip or rumors uh, trying to figure things out but now as time is going by and the blockage hasn't been removed i think that now they are getting a little uneasy it's like oh my god oh my god i need to get out of my stress and anxiety and sleepless nights uh, why nine of swords in reverse what's the nine of swords in reverse there's too much blockage yeah there's too much blockage and uh, somebody's feeling that they're losing out on a partnership of equal give and take uh, this person actually doesn't have the courage because I don't know maybe they they want to come out of this anxiety and stress yes uh, feeling very imbalanced at the moment at the thought that their person could be moving on or has moved on left them behind uh, they're getting a uh, little uneasy uh, very disappointed feeling the lack of motivation in life in general I think uh, just the thought that oh my god has my person moved on I mean uh, they are uh, this person is also depressed yeah they're also depressed but they've done the spirit says i think they've done their thinking now and they're ready to talk they're ready to talk they want to do or say something which will end this fight they actually heart of hearts do want to work on things mm, the only reason they haven't taken action till now is because uh, either this person was scared to have things backfire on them or maybe they got caught in the past and they're not sure they'll get a second chance uh, but heart of hearts this person really wants to get out of their head their stress their anxiety and uh, whatever separation has done to them for them has actually helped this person make up their mind they've made up their mind that yes i want to now come back rush towards my person i want to now take responsibility i'm ready for commitment i think this time by themselves has made them feel how discontent they've been and how how imbalanced their life has been without the other person in their life so tell me person a 
how do you see the connection now? How do you feel about person B? How do you feel about the connection? Person A says, first of all, Omkara Taro, I'm, I'm very embarrassed. I'm very ashamed of whatever happened. I feel uh, I've been knocked down from my high horse now. And to tell them now that I want them back in my life and I see them as my equal counterpart is going to be so tough. Why is that? Six of Wands in reverse. Because as much as this person now recognizes the connection, sees person B as their soulmate, wants to return, they are not sure. They are not sure whether their apology will even be accepted. Right? So it's like uh, maybe this person was very prideful in the past and uh, attention seeker, a little egoistic. Now they feel that uh, they will eat, have to eat the humble pie to be able to come back. Right? And uh, then that th even then they are not sure how well they will be received so but they do see person b as perfection it's like who wouldn't want that person omkara taro they are per they're a perfect partner for life uh, queen of pentacles queen of pentacles yes they, they do want to come back and be also seen in the same light it's like i want them also to see me as somebody who's now mature now ready ready to take back take responsibility and um, they're seeking that approval i think from person b but they're not sure they're not sure they'll get a second chance am i right person a yes see as much as they're wishing for a reconciliation or to go back or get person b they're embarrassed. They're embarrassed to even go and ask for it. Okay, so, well, you'll have to take some action. You can't just sit there and this is your action card, Taurus. Oh, sorry, person A, uh, which I'll open later. I'm right now going to go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So, person B, you have the two of swords in reverse. You seem to have made up your mind about something. Yeah, person B says, they kept me really confused, Omkara Taro. They kept me just as an option in their life. They, I was holding all the heaviness of this connection. All the emotional weight was on my shoulders. And I'm kind of getting out of this. I'm clearing things out. I'm making up my mind. And what are you deciding? Person B says, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. I was hoping and wishing that sooner or later they would make up their mind. But things are just not getting any better. And none of my em emotional needs are being met here. So, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups says, I did love them. I did love them. Uh, but I've thought long and hard about, hard about it, uh, Umkara Taro. Uh, what's the point of me being loving and kind when they're never going to make a decision? So in this time of waiting, I've actually grown as well. If they've, they are telling you they've grown, well, I have also grown more than what I was. I'm not just a queen of cups, I'm an empress now. And I choose not to chase anyone. I deserve to be respected, I deserve to, I command attention or uh, respect or I need somebody to value me and if not then well, I am going to attract in, uh, attract in somebody who will. So an empress is like sitting on, in their power and saying you know what I want, I am going to get it one way or the other. Right now I am focusing on stability, long term abundance, exactly the things that I think person A never offered them kept the connection totally imbalanced, maybe treated person B like just a friend or friends with benefits, maybe lied to them and behaved like a player or something. But the truth came out. I think person B is now saying, you know what, I know my worth and value. I'm not going to get, you know, sidetracked from that. I'm not going to be not treated right, especially now that I have grown. I mean, the heart is still open. It's not that person B is bitter or angry. They're still showing up as a queen of cups, as an empress. So right now could be diverting that love, that attention onto themselves. And that's why this person has now become an empress, right? So tell me person B, uh, why do you feel all this? That you had to go through this transformation? What happened here? Uh, person B says, uh, well, I've become an empress, but I still see them as an emperor in reverse. They were stubborn, they were egoistic, they were just pretending to 
you know be a know it all or whatever but they actually never really stepped up and took responsibility for anything uh, in fact they were very immature and just brought a lot of drama and uh, i am kind of not going to wait around for somebody to make me feel isolated or make me feel i'm not good enough in fact i'm getting out of all my stress and anxiety on a, uh, on waiting around or getting bothered by a person who's not even on my level in fact i am choosing my own direction now i'm choosing my own path okay so two of wands in reverse two of wands in reverse a yeah, person B says, I'm guarding my energy. I'm guarding my energy. I'm making a firm choice, firm decision for my own life. If they are not ready to offer, see this connection or honor the relationship that we have, then as an empress, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to protect myself. Right? So, person B, tell me, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person A and how do you feel about the connection? Hanged man in reverse. Hanged man in reverse. Person B says, I did see them Omkara Taro exactly as they see me. The, uh, one person is seeing the other one as the queen of pentacles. Person B says, I also felt they were my king of pentacles. But the thing is that uh, they, they just keep delaying it. They just keep delaying it. They just keep it up in the air. They're all wishy-washy. They juggle me. They keep me like an option. I mean, this has become toxic. This has become so toxic, this immature behavior of theirs, this pattern that they keep repeating. I mean, uh, it's not that I didn't want them to be, you know, my king, my king of pentacles to their queen of pentacles. But what's, what is all this selfish behavior, self-centered behavior, never really taking responsibility. And may, always, you know, I've always felt betrayed by in this connection. I felt that, you know, what's the point of me loving them if I'm going to keep giving them love and they're going to just keep pouring it down. Right? So, king of pentacles, king of pentacles. Yeah, person B says, I did see them as my long-term partner as well. Ten of pentacles with the king of pentacles, right? I did see them that this could have been the person I would have lived happily ever after with. But uh, they are just not emotionally available. They keep me emotionally stuck. They are manipulating me and uh, they're just not, uh, you know, being open and honest with me. That's the reason now I'm guarding my energy as well. Okay, so let's see what actions you guys will take. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Taurus. And while I shuffle these cards, may I please request you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated. Thank you. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, do join uh, the Omkara family. Subscribe, like, share. We welcome you in. Okay, so... Let's start with person A. Person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> person A is so scared that person B has totally cut them out. Will not trust them ever again. Is angry, is upset. I don't see person B angry and upset. They're just kind of guarding their energy. But th that's how person A is feeling. I'm not sure they'll ever give me a second chance. They, they must be so upset. They're so angry. They have cut me out. They've closed the chapter. They, they'll sh slam the door shut on my face now, Omkara Taro, if I do attempt to go towards them. Person A is actually having quite a pity party right now. They're feeling abandoned, they're feeling left out in the cold, they're missing person B, but I think they're kind of convinced and they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do, what choice to make, sh how should I approach uh, person B. All they can do is wish and pray and hope uh, that uh, they can start us from scratch, I guess. They know they have to come and talk. They will, I think, eventually. I don't think this person is missing person B so much. Eventually, they will have to open their mouth, right? It's like they'll have to come forward, surrender, and be honest. Because I do sense person A really does love person B. They have unconditional love for person B. They're just scared right now and sitting in like that sadness. I think they also know that uh, they are the ones who left person B 
uh, in a bad state maybe or abandoned or left out and that's the shame and guilt and that's why they're kind of feeling I'm sure I'm sure I'm not going to get a second chance but they I think eventually they will I mean they see person B as their wish come true or somebody who they have unconditional love for so I guess sooner or later they, this person will have to pluck up their uh, courage to come and have that conversation right so person B okay person A will you I'm sure people want to know uh, will you come and take any action like at least start small start with the message four of wands page of cups wonderful yeah person uh, is absolutely ready they are ready for commitment they want to offer the world it's almost like yeah I they are planning it out maybe first I'll just offer an apology then I will maybe give a proposal because they want to take this right from 0 to 100 10 of pentacles was under my deck as well right even though they are not sure even though they are not sure whether their offer will be accepted I do feel person A is plucking up their courage to come forward with an apology hoping it can lead to you know more conversation and then they can well they can offer everything okay so person B action from your end towards person A or otherwise queen of wands in reverse that should be is upset with them yeah so queen of wands in reverse what's the queen of wands in reverse as an action six of swords the devil ten of swords death and rebirth I don't think person B has really moved on on like to somebody else uh, they are upset they are angry right now with person A they could be kind of trying to move on towards peace and harmony in their own life uh, this person is kind of packing up their bags and saying you know what I've been betrayed I've been hurt um, maybe it's time for me to put an end to this connection and have a transformation or have a brand new life I don't see them that they've already left because this person is still kind of going back and forth I mean they're standing here looking at their new life ahead of them I don't think this person has plunged in yet mm, they could still be kind of getting over healing their broken heart at this time but I think they're on the verge that this person is like on the verge of saying yes it's time for me to turn my back see what else is out there I'm done here but somewhere in their mind they still kind of feel you know that person could have been my perfect match and they hurt me the only reason I think person B is moving on is because they are hurt so person A if you can rush in now you may just you may just catch them this per per person B is healing that broken heart that you caused them okay so don't uh, pause for too long take action <laughs> all right that's what I have for you till next time then Taurus love and light take care namaste